Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out a very special custom build of the International Space Station guys. So this was made and submitted by Man Planet guys so massive thank you to him for sharing this with us and just looking by the image this thing looks awesome. So without further ado let's go ahead and see what he has prepared to show us here. So let's uh, see so here it is down here on the bottom of my workshop so if you want to find it as well it'll be on the workshop guys i should have a link to it um, in the description as well so yeah definitely go have and peek at this if you want because this thing looks awesome so let's see how this works all right come on game what have we got here oh ho, ho, wow we that that looks flipping awesome so model of the international space station the iss not to scale all components made by man planet guy give it an upvote on steam if you enjoy it also help more people find them and it's also got a youtube link and his discord link there so look at this is this all Wow, wee, that is cool. You can see a part of the Saturn V rocket. Look at that. <laughs> hey, wow. This looks absolutely amazing. So let's see here. Wow. You know what we need to do? Let's put an Earth next to it and actually have it around the Earth. How about that? So what if we place, uh, say, the Earth there? All the way down here, is that, is that too close, too far away? Uh, that is... How cool is that? I mean, honestly, that is so cool. Let's try and get it, make it look really, really cool. So what should we go with? Um, actually, no, I'll get rid of that one. Let's use the custom Earth I have. And let's just have a really, really cool shot of it next to the Earth. So let's put the Earth... Uh, I'm going to try and get the Earth sort of as close as possible. So let's try and uh, I'm gonna rotate it around a bit. Let's try and have it literally just above the atmosphere area. <laughs> let's see how this works. So... Maybe give it something like that. That's a little too close just for the visuals to load in. Maybe a little further. But yeah, there we go. So something like that. So what do you think of that? International Space Station in orbit of the Earth. Custom built. You can see as well, it's all made of different parts. This isn't one object. I'm pretty sure if I wanted, I could probably tear this thing in half by doing a bit of magic here. So let's try it. So if I... Oh my God, look at all those parts. And I could rip it in half. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Whoops. So you can literally... With this simulation as well, you can literally take the entire ISS apart. And then I'll see we can reconnect it. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. There you go. So that's pretty much uh, back the way it was. But yeah, how cool is that? So you can see every little piece here. Solar panels, all individual objects. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, wow. I think I've just dislodged a piece of it. But check that out. How flipping cool is that? So where's the part with the space shuttle would dock? I'm guessing it'd be... I, I actually don't know where exactly it would dock. But yeah, it would dock on one of those. I mean, why, why, why not try and make a space shuttle? That could be pretty cool. He did say um, in the Discord, if you can suggest any other spacecraft I can make, uh, go ahead and feel free. So my suggestions would be space shuttle. Definitely the space shuttle. Because then you could sort of combine it with this simulation. And then also, I would say, the full, complete Saturn V rocket. Because remember, the game at the moment only has the third stage, which would be this part here. But what about the entire rocket? I think that could be quite cool. But yeah, there we go. International Space Station and Universe Sandbox. Honestly, I'm surprised the devs haven't added this yet as, a, as one entire object. Maybe, maybe this should be a... Maybe we should send this video to them and just say, can you make a version of this that we can place in? Because I think that'd be pretty cool, but... Yeah, what do you guys think of that? I mean, how cool is that? I mean, this has got to be one of the coolest objects we have showcased in a while. Because, I mean, look at that view of Earth behind it. How cool is that? I mean, wow. Honestly, very, very um, well done to my Planet Guy for doing this. It took him two hours to make it, he said, as well. So, yeah, wow. We, I mean, placing all those parts in there, I mean, that must have taken absolutely ages. God. And a lot of time rearranging everything, trying to make it perfect. But, yeah, honestly, that is a really cool sort of representation of the uh, ISS there so yeah what do you guys think of that I mean that is awesome honestly I really want to try and find a way to use this in my size comparison video if at all possible I mean we may have to maybe some of the objects have to be scaled down but um, including this in that video will be absolutely awesome whoa we zoomed out uh, let's try and compare it to some other human objects let's just see how it sort of compares to some of the space probes and stuff so if I was to place new horizons in there okay so it does compare I don't they're not he said it wasn't to scale but I mean there's the third. That's how Saturn V would normally look. So you can see he made the pieces a lot smaller for Saturn V. Because in theory, this object, I'm guessing, this space station should be a lot bigger than it actually is. So it may be quite hard to include in the size comparison video. So I'm pretty sure it's a lot bigger than all of the space probes and stuff as well, for instance. There's Cassini, obviously there. Obviously with Space Voyager 2 in. Yeah, I'd pretty much say it. Uh, yeah, and then the Pyramid as well. So I'd say... Um, 
It definitely would need to be larger, I think. I'm pretty sure it's not that big compared to Saturn V's third stage. I mean, that is crazy. I mean, the ISS isn't that small, so... Yeah, there you go. But yeah, honestly, either way, scale or not to scale, that is a really awesome looking build. I mean, it's good. let's see if we can sort of go inside. Look at this. So these are all of the rocket pieces that are merged together here. Oh, oh, we've got we sort of glitch inside it. Can we actually go inside? Yeah, look at that. Hey. So we can sort of fly through it or try and have like a first person mode. So imagine we we're looking out the window. We were actually in the space station right now obviously what object whatever we're inside there's a sword he's used a sword what's that sword all about where's that sword <laughs> where'd that go so is he using the sword to sort of link the pieces up i think that's what it is there let's try and zoom into it this is the sword here this is the sword's blade oh that is so cool so he's used the sword to actually build it wow that is so cool look there's the swords so look at that He's used the sword to merge the pieces. Wow, that is so cool. But let's actually continue exploring in this sort of first person mode, or as best as we can do it, and sort of explore the space station in Universe Sandbox. How cool is this? Uh, can we go this way? Oh, there's actually a probe in here as well. Hey! So we can go through these. Are, imagine these are all doors that would open. Oh, this is a view of the Earth from the space station. What do you think of that? How cool is that? So I think we're on the edge of the space station now, but let's have a look out the uh, window. Yeah, this is the very end of uh, one of the bits, so there you go. So this is like the uh, end of the space station if we look back on the rest of the space station. Or maybe we could go out for a spacewalk and leave the space station, but stay in that first person mode. So what do you think of this? So now we are currently in our spacesuit, and we are sort of floating around the space station. So what do you think of that? And uh, now we're going to fall to Earth because we've gone too far away. <laughs> oh, no. But let's actually uh, go back in here. And let's say we re-enter the space station from a different angle. So let's enter this side. What the heck is this object even made of? Look at these all these textures. That's weird. Let's actually enter the space station again from this angle. Back into first-person mode. Let's go in here. Come on. Going to enter. Come on, game. We're going in. There you go. All right. Cool. Oh, we're flying through it pretty quickly. So again, we can have another sort of view of the outside. So there's the uh, Milky Way galaxy in the background as well. Uh, let's keep going forward. I'm trying to go as fast as we can. Come on, game. I'm zooming in. Go. Come on. Doesn't look like it likes uh, this part. Let's uh, try somewhere else. But yeah, there you go. So that's um, all of that. So let's go, uh, go. try and go back in this bit here. Let's uh, sit in here. It's back inside the space station. Look how cool that is. Honestly, that is so cool. So there you go. The first person sort of views of the space station so there's the earth behind us again as well oh yeah that is so cool if we look up look up as well you can see other bits there so you could probably make a really cool scene of having like space bros and stuff in here as well that would be really cool obviously we can head down down the layer down here all the way to the bottom of the space we can look down underneath from the space station so you can see up there there's the rest of it let's so just keep heading down and then, uh, oh, we've fallen out of the space station. Oh, dear. So, obviously, if you zoom out, that thing is obviously very small in comparison to the Earth there. But that is... How awesome is that? I mean, yeah, guys, let us know what you think of this down below in the comments. The one thing I want to try is, can you... Does the space station fall apart when you click play? What happens if... What happens if you do that? Okay, so the Earth moves. It looks like these are all combined. So... Oh, look how cool it is with the Earth moving, though. Look at that. How flipping cool is that? Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, let's just take a moment to enjoy the space station in orbit of the moving Earth behind. Look how cool that is. Just look at that. Just enjoy the Earth rotating behind it. I mean, we could probably slow it down because it's a little too fast, but there you go. What do you think of that? That is one cool scene. How cool is that? Wow. Wow. Just having the Earth behind it just adds so much more to it. I mean, that is that is so flipping awesome. And, and the fact that it stays in one piece is all pretty cool. But the only issue is it's annoying that it doesn't register as one object. Because if it did, then we could move it around and change the size of it. But also it's made of little pieces. So trying to scale it bigger or smaller would take ages. But yeah, that is either way. That is so awesome. And yeah, massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sharing this with us. Because that is awesome. Honestly, Universe Sandbox devs, we need a version of the ISS as a placeable object in the game. I think that would be really, really cool. But yeah, there you go, guys. So that is the ISS 
in Universe Sandbox, in Orbit of the Earth as well. So yeah, what do you guys think of that? Honestly, that is so cool. I mean, just look at it. All the little objects built into this bad boy to make it. But yeah, check that out. You could probably make like a damaged version of it as well if you m remove pieces and... Like, I don't think colliding stuff with this would work. I'm guessing these are all locked in position, aren't they? No, no, position lock switched off. I wonder how he's done that then. Maybe he's messed with the gravity in the simulation or something. That's my only guess. But yeah, there you go. That is so cool. And in theory, let's just add to the scene a bit. Let's pause it. Obviously, we could throw a moon in. So we could, uh, yeah, moon. Uh, there. Obviously, the moon would be a fair distance away. I've, yes, yeah, the orbit button doesn't work. So my guess is he's messed with the gravity in it. That is my only. That's my only guess. He's definitely. He definitely has must have messed with the gravity. In some way or form, gravity. So I don't even know how those simulations work. There's, there's definitely a way to change how the gravity works. Ah, zero. So I'm guessing if we sped it up, it would break things. We may have to try that before we finish off. But let's just add the moon over there. And then what we'll do is we'll throw a sun in. I'll see uh, a fair distance away, somewhere there. Okay. So now if we look, there's the moon. <laughs> so there you go. Obviously, it's not to uh, scale with the uh, Earth accurately, but if you look around, you got the sun now. Hey, so you can never look at the sun behind the uh, solar panels here. So what do you think of that? See the sun's glow behind the ISS. How cool is that? And one thing we should try as well. Why don't we have like a sunrise from behind the Earth from the ISS? So if we place the Earth here and try and catch that sun as it sort of comes around. So let's try and get it in the exact correct position. It's something like that. Oh, look at that. So what do you think of that? Obviously, the sun does look a little weird, but ISS, sunrise, over there. Play. So there you go. Sunrise from the view of the ISS. How cool is that? So there's the Earth. And then you look over there, and there is the sun. So what do you guys think of that? Now, that is awesome. Why don't we spice it up even more and have an eclipse? View the that, that eclipse we had recently. Why don't we view the eclipse? from the ISS. I think that would be awesome. Let's just drag the Earth away a little more because I think the atmosphere wasn't showing up. So where's our moon? Let's drag the moon and put it in front of the Earth. See how that comes out. Let's try and get it in the exact right position for something like that. Oh yeah, look at that. So the moon eclipsing over the sun. Let's try and get it in the exact correct position, but somewhere there, I'd say. Is that okay? Uh, are we on realistic? Let's go on realistic light and see how that looks as well. Uh, realistic. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, from the ISS. What do you think of that? Uh, how cool is that? Eclipse from the ISS. Also, we can click play. You can see Earth's clouds moving, rotating as the ISS. Look at that. What do you think of that? That does look awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. But one thing I want to do with the try now. Simulation. Uh, and now we're going to mess with the gravity. So, what if I start messing with these values? What if I put this to one? Does it start moving things, or what, can, can we enter numbers in? No. I don't know how the gravity works, honestly. So I have no idea what I'm pressing here. I'm sure there was a gravity. There used to be a gravity button somewhere. Um, it was somewhere. Fly. No, no, no. View. Simulation. I'm sure it was this. Oh, oh, oh god, I just pressed it, I just turned it on, we're crashing into the earth, oh god, what's happened here, <laughs> oh dear, oh, it's because I had collide switched off, right, oh dear, so the ISS is just falling into the earth, it looks like the earth is evaporating due to being close to the sun as well, you'll see the moon move, uh, let's try that again, so why don't we have an ISS that crashes into the earth, <laughs> oh yeah, right, I wonder if the ISS actually falls apart as well. Like, do all the pieces fall apart? Or... So let's try that again. So let's uh, put our custom Earth back in. Place it there. Okay. So we're from a sort of further distance away. Now, we'll see what we want to do is we need to turn those on. So simulation, Karad. Yeah, so we'll put them all on. Right. Now. Oh, man. Right, let's see what happens here. So we've turned it all on. Click play. Right. Oh, the Earth is spinning really fast. Right. So does this actually move? Or does the... I'm guessing the ISS is moving. I don't even know. Uh, no, it's not. All about the Earth. Is the Earth moving? No? Oi, hang on. Why are you not working? Gravity's on. Yes. Maybe I need to put this in now. 
Oh, okay, I see. It's because we had to put the constant up. Right. Saucy Earth, it fell into the Earth. There's not many pieces left. I think it's all just fallen into many bits and pieces. I don't even know what's happened there. But either way, it got broken. So, let's try that again. Oh, yeah, it did break in half. Look, there's only a... Oh, no, it's all broke. <laughs> Whoops. So, let's try that again. Maybe, maybe we should put it... It's all just broken apart. So what if we, let's just remove the earth for the time being. Let's just have it in one piece. There's no other object to interfere. We'll turn it all on. Then open it up and then put it as one. Okay, so then we'll slow down time. It's, so does it just break apart? Oh no, they're colliding together as well. But yeah, they, they collide. Okay. But as you can see, it's all falling apart. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh <laughs> So obviously it all merges into the larger piece because we put collisions on. But obviously if we turn collisions off, then they would all just break into multiple pieces. So let's try that. So it's all just merged into one big object. Oh dear. Right. Oh, that's so cool. Right. Simulation. Let's do it again. Right. Final time. Simulation. Gravity. But we'll only have gravity on. Then we'll put it back to the one. There we are. Okay. Slow it down. Press play. Okay. So now this would all fall apart. Oh man, that is crazy. So now we can place the earth in since we know it's not going to do anything weird. So let's put it there like it was before. There you go, okay. Right. So International Space Station falling apart above the orbit of the earth. Oh my god. Oh, the earth just sucked it all in. Look at that. Oh, it's just torn it apart. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting it to do that, but what has happened there? The gravity's just gone absolutely crazy, but it's torn the whole thing apart. <laughs> okay, yeah, this time for real, though, we won't have any Earth in here, because the Earth's gravity obviously completely rips it to shreds. So, we'll just have it break apart naturally on its own. So, yeah, let's do that again. So, simulation, gravity on, press this to one. Slow down the time, press play. Okay, so here you go. So, let's see as the ISS breaks apart. <laughs> Oh god, look at it. Oh no. Oh, the solar panels are smashed as well. Look at that. What has happened here? So the whole thing just reconfigures and starts. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we completely dis. Oh man, that is crazy. Look at this cylinder piece in the middle. That's. Uh... What has happened there? Look at the state of that. Look at that. Look at all the solar panel pieces. <laughs> So it's all rejected apart. You can see how it's all moved. You can see there's a hammer here as well. Look at that. There's a sword. <laughs> all made to pull it together. But yeah, there you go. So that is the ISS in Universe Sandbox, guys. So yeah, let us know. What is your thoughts and opinions of this down below in the comments? I mean, that is... That's flipping awesome. Oh, that looks like they're colliding now. But honestly, that is so cool. Um, yeah, really, really massive big thanks to Mad Planet Guy for sending this to us. And yeah, there you are. So let's uh, put the Earth back in. Honestly, it looks so cool being around the earth like that. So there we are. Okay. So all the way down here. Oh, we've gone inside the atmosphere, but again, actually, let's drag it away. <laughs> yeah, we're actually in the atmosphere. That's not particularly good. So drag it a little further. There you go. All the way back down there. Yeah, so the atmosphere's all in there as well. Then all we need to simply do is, um, yeah, press play and enjoy as the earth goes past. So what you guys think of that now? There you go. So, yeah, let us know. Force opinions down below in the comments. Obviously, if you like this video, let's see if we can go for 50 likes today for the uh, ISS in Universe Sandbox and obviously with the cool earth behind it as well. And, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Special thanks again to Mad Planet Guy for sending this in. Obviously, I'll put the link to this in the description if you would like a copy of it as well. And, yeah, if that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.